Aloha, this is Robin Lee with the Mua Ukulele Inc. And today on Ook Tips, we're going to talk about the history of the ukulele and where the name came from. So there's many speculations as to where the name ukulele actually came from. Many different stories, many different spellings. We're going to talk about the three main ones today. Because um, there's just a lot of myth out there. Let's just sift through it and I'll let you decide at the end. Really quick, some quick facts about where the ukulele came from. It came from Portuguese sailors and Portuguese farmers from the island of Madeira which is right off of Portugal from the Strait of Magellan. So it's actually out in the ocean, not in the Mediterranean. Um, because of its position on the globe, it made it great for sugar cropping. So, of course, when you look at Hawaii, where else could they take farmers that already know the trade from is Portugal. So the Portuguese farmers came over um, to the islands and helped out sugarcane farming here. Um, because of that, they brought their culture with them, and part of that culture was a small four-stringed instrument, Portuguese instrument, known as a machete. It was known as a mixture between the banjo and a guitar. And actually, before the instrument was called the ukulele, but after it was called the machete, it was called the taro patch fiddle. They used to play it in, while they were farming. Now, how the ukulele got its name? That's a great question. We have three stories, and they all have different facts, they all have different validity. The first one is the most popular, that's the one you've probably heard, and the one the Hawaiians like telling the most. First off, when the farmers first arrived from Portugal, they had with them their machetes, and they played them so quickly that the Hawaiians thought their fingers looked like jumping fleas. Uku is Hawaiian for flea, or small bug, and Lele translated in English from Hawaiian means to jump or leap. So altogether it forms flea jumping, jumping flea. Their fingers were moving so quick on the fretboard that it looked like jumping fleas, hence the name we have today, ukuleles. The second story kind of disproves that theory, um, just from the time frame of where it all came about. Um, King Kalakaua actually was reported after he died it came out that he actually played the ukulele for his royal court and that came about from Robert Louis Stevenson who actually saw him from first hand account um, because of that they actually believe that his first appointed Chamberlain whose name was Edward Purvis his nickname Edward Purvis's nickname and he played the machete very well his nickname himself was ukulele because he was short uku flea remember short little he was short and he was agile lele meaning he could jump so he was short and agile and he was he was known to actually teach king kalakawa the instrument and it's a little funny too because edward purvis was actually caught uh writing fake pamphlets uh, back in the day, the original National Enquirer about King Kalakaua saying he was a womanized drunkard. So he actually got kicked out of um, royal court and died in Colorado Springs. The third um, story about where the ukulele came from, and this one's kind of true too, um, is the first real printed document. Um, printed by Helen Mather in 1891 basically stating in a tour guide to Hawaii that the ukulele spelled U-K-E-L-E-L-E, -E -L -E, which is known as today in the ukulele crowd as the wrong spelling of the instrument. Um, but because of that, it actually brings up another translation. U-K-E in Hawaiian actually means to strike, to, so to strike something, and then lele means to jump, so jump and strike. So there you go. Those are the three different names of the ukulele. Where it comes from, I'll let you decide. Which one's real, I don't know. Either way, it's a beautiful Hawaiian instrument. We hope you enjoy yours. If you have any questions, please comment below or visit our website at www.emua-ukulele.com. Take care. Aloha. Thanks.